Bristol, home to world-famous engineer Isambard Kingdom Brunel, who designed the SS Great Britain, the world's first great ocean liner, and the Clifton Suspension Bridge. The Landorga Trowel, the inspiration for Robert Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island novel, legendary Hollywood actor and smooth-talking superstar Cary Grant, and popular graffiti artist, political activist, film director and painter Banksy. Supporters of Wikimania 2013 As the following interviews will show, the Bristol Wikimania team has some influential supporters for its citywide bid. Hi, my name's Jeff Gollop. I'm the Lord Mayor of the City and County of Bristol. Um, I'm delighted to be here endorsing uh, the bid today because I see Bristol very much as a city at the cutting edge of developing new technologies, new means of communications. It's a young, vibrant city. It is quite probably the most diverse city in the country in terms of the makeup of its population. And it's crying out to, uh, to nail its flag to the mast. It's somewhere that's at the forefront of modern technology. My name is Barbara Jack, and I'm leader of Bristol City Council. And one of the things I'm most proud about Bristol is the very successful economy we have here, but the strength that we have, particularly in microelectronics industries, but particularly creative media and digital. Two universities that are absolutely excellent and highly engaged on all of this agenda. I believe that the context of Bristol is absolutely ideal for the Wikimania Conference, and I think we have a huge amount to offer that people will come here and really want to come here again as a result. I'm from the Bristol Festival Ideas and Bristol Cultural Development Partnership, and we organise hundreds of events, of events each year across the city, bringing the best speakers to Bristol, the best thinkers and commentators to Bristol, and encourage them to debate with our own great thinkers and commentators here. We're fully behind this bid. We want to get more speakers to Bristol from the Wikipedia community. We want to have big debates during the Wikipedia fortnight. And we're working very closely with the Wikipedia team here on making sure that we have those debates and speakers in the city for the time that Wikimania takes place. And as well as all the debates and discussions and keynote lectures that we have, we're also a very social city. We want to have lots of social events working with the Wikimedia community um, in Bristol and internationally to make sure that these events take place for the good of everyone involved in this wonderful initiative. Davis. I'm the Commercial Service Manager at Destination Bristol and I'm very, very excited about supporting Bristol Wikimania Bid 2013. Uh, we're delighted with the support that we've had from Bristol Airport who have been fantastic in coming up with some great ideas of how they can support this bid as well from practical things such as when people arrive, moving them into the city. Um, the airport's just a short distance from the city centre. Um, there's a great transport infrastructure to move people around. But what we want to do is to provide everyone with a fantastic welcome at the airport and then a fantastic welcome again when they come into the city centre itself. Not only will our Destination Bristol partners help in organising accommodation and venues, but we'll use their relationship with the city airport to secure favourable rates with various international partner airlines. There are a number of uh, international flights that come into Bristol. For visitors coming over from the US, you can fast track at Dublin Airport, so you can clear customs there and come into Bristol free and easy. And there's also a substantial amount of international airlines flying into the city, both featuring the budget flights such as EasyJet, Ryanair, and also flights from KLM and others that can bring you both in from mainland Europe and via hubs such as Brussels, Amsterdam, Paris and Dublin. 
So in the city itself, you've got over two and a half thousand bedrooms in the city centre. Uh, it's a combination of four, three and two star hotels, campus accommodation from the University of Bristol. We have apartments, we have budget accommodation re represented by major brands and also bed and breakfast accommodation. So there's a wide variety of places for people to stay. There's a wide variety of budgets for people as well so that they can make the most of their stay here and extend it because obviously we'd like them to stay a bit longer than the event itself and get to see some of the surrounding area and some more of what Bristol has to offer. Once Bristol have won the bid to host Wikimania 2013, we will continue to work with the team to go back and refine and improve the accommodation offers that we've had so far. Um, it's likely that there'll be another hotel in Bristol before the event itself, so we'll be making sure that all the latest accommodation is available for people. We'll be looking at how we can provide a service, an information desk service, a concierge service around the city. We'll be also be looking at other opportunities for delegates, not just where to stay, but things they can do while they're here signposting all the latest opportunities for them and providing a great service so that they know exactly what they can do to make the most of the time in Bristol and how they can move between one building and another from simple practicalities like maps through to having somebody there to speak to. Did you know that we've managed hundreds of Wikipedians in the city before by bringing Jimmy Wells to Bristol's University's Victoria Rooms as well as Bristol Cathedral for the 10th birthday of Wikipedia in January 2011. Here's an example of what took place. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, one of the legends of the modern age, Mr Jimmy Wales. Legends of the modern age. <laughs> you will all be disappointed now. Um, Jimmy Wiles. Thank you. We had a lot of fun. Uh, lots of people here are already editing Wikipedia and familiar with Wikipedia.